Can you solve this SATS question? Now today's SATS question is fairly standard, but also tricky columns, uh, subtraction of mixed numbers. So the first thing that we need to do here, we can see that we've got four and two thirds take away one and six sevenths. The first thing that we need to do is we need, when we see these questions is convert these into proper fractions. So to do that, we do four, we do the denominator times the whole number, add the numerator. So we would do three times four, is 12, add two is 14. So that is going to give us 14 over three. And then we do the same with the other fraction. So we do seven times one is seven, add the six is 13. So that gives us 13 over seven. Now at that point, we put ourselves in a position where we can solve the next problem, which is the fact that these two denominators are different. So we need our common denominator. Now hopefully we can see that their common multiple, multiples of three and seven is 21. So we're gonna convert these fractions from their current denominators to 21, so they're equivalent. So to do that, we think, right, okay, how, what do I multiply three by to get to 21? Well, I multiply by seven, so I would do the same to the numerator. So I would do 14 times seven, which is 98. So we're going to do that. And then I would do, well, how do I what do, how do I multiply seven to get to 21? Well, I multiply by three. So I need to do the same to the numerator. So that's good. Three times 13 is 39. So in this position, we would need to then do 98 take away 39. Some of us might think I'm not too confident with that. So we can drop if we need to into a column subtraction. So we're going to do 98 take away 39 very simple so we would do 8 take away 9 well we can't do that so we're going to need to exchange so we're doing 18 take away 9 is 9 and then 8 take away 3 is 5 so we're left with 59 so we would have 59 over 21 at that point we're left with an improper fraction so we need to work out how many of this denominator we would find in the numerator so we're definitely going to get two holes because 21 add 21 is 42 and then it's all about the remainder okay so we would have two holes and there would if we counted on from 42 to 59 we would be left with 17 okay so the answer there's quite a lot of work to do there is 2 and 17 over 21 and that's another sats question solved